In both Anime Studio Debut and Pro, you have access to the Character Wizard, which allows you to quickly create a character using a variety of different presets. To access the Character Wizard, simply go up to the Character Silhouette on the top right corner of your software. Click, and now a new window will appear. The first thing you'll notice is at the top you have a Presets drop-down menu. From here you can choose from all sorts of different presets. Right now we have a bald man preset, but we could choose, let's say, a girl with curly hair. Or a creature. There's all sorts of different presets to choose from, so pick one that you want to start with. Let's say you choose a preset and you adjust all of the properties below how you want them. You can always create your own preset by hitting the plus button right here. And you can delete presets by hitting the minus button. So that gives you some control over the presets. Now next you have the properties for these presets. So I have chosen the bald man preset, but below I have a bunch of different options I can go through. Starting with proportions, I can adjust the height, the torso height, so more torso, less leg, or vice versa, the leg length, head height, so that gives us a bigger head, and we can make the character look fat or skinny. Coming down here to the arms, you can do arm length, so make them really long. You can Make the shoulders bigger if you wish. You can go to arm width and make the arms look thicker or add muscles or make them not muscular at all. Come down here to hand length and you can make the hands bigger. And with this drop down menu you have the ability to choose from different hands. Right now I'm set to cartoon simple but let's say I go to realistic. You can see now the hands have changed, they're more detailed. Or I could choose square. Again, just a different look for the hand. So it just depends on what you're looking for. With the legs, you have basically the same options you do with the arms, except it affects the legs. So you can choose hip width, leg width, muscles, foot length. And for the feet, you can choose sneakers, or any of these other presets. So we could go barefoot. We could go with simple. It just depends on what you want to do. So now that you have set all of your body properties, we can go over now to the face tab. In here, you can adjust your head. So there are presets for the head. So if we come here, we could, for instance, change it to anime boy winter or boy tune. Again, it just gives you different presets to play with. So once you have picked your preset, we can come down here and with the properties with the head, you cannot adjust the neck with head top and so on, unless if you are using the generic option. Here then you can go in and adjust some of these properties. But most of these presets are pretty much set in so that you can't do any adjustments. But if you're looking for something generic, then you can make those adjustments. Now with the eyes, once again, you can choose from different presets and you can adjust the size as well as the height and spacing. For the mouth, once again, you have presets. So I could choose cutout and size and height can be adjusted. Same with the nose, size and height. And some of your presets allow head props. So let's say you want to put a hat on your character or something on the character's head. You could definitely do this with some of the presets. Finally, you can adjust the vertical position of your face if you wish. And at any time, if you want to see what this looks like in all angles of your character, you can come down here to the preview window and adjust this dial and see what your character will look like from all directions. So moving on now to movement, 
you can see what your characters will look like with certain actions. There's four actions. And with the walk, you have some control over those actions. So for instance, we could adjust the steps per second. So if we put this up, he is going to walk a lot faster. If we put step distance, he'll take bigger steps. If we put step height up, he'll lift his legs up more. And we can make his arms swing even more with this option, as well as the torso bend. You can see it's really exaggerated now. And you can go to the other actions to see what those are going to look like. Going over here to the clothing, you can adjust the pants to be long or short, just as a shirt. So I could choose short. You can see now he has shorts on. I could adjust the color of the pants if I wish. And the same goes for the shirt. Go to style. And now you can adjust the skin color, hair color, stroke color, stroke width. Those are similar things you'll find in your style panel. And you can create a randomized line width. And you can choose to have scale compensation on or off, which basically means if you take your camera zoom tool and zoom into the character, the lines will get bigger when this is checked. If it's deselected, the lines will stay the same no matter what. So once you have all of your settings picked, you can come down here and check export all views well, and that will export all of these views as switch layers so that you can um, switch back and forth between them when working on your animation. And finally, if you're looking for something a bit more um, random, I guess would be the word, you can always choose randomize. If you click this, basically all of your properties will be randomized so that you'll get something completely uh, random using just the random presets available to you. So once you find something that you like, you can click OK. Now you'll see my character is now on the canvas. And if you look to the layers panel, you'll see I have a switch layer, as I said you would. And you have all of your views in that switch layer. So you have the back, you have the three fourths, side, front three fourths, and front. So you can just pick and choose which one you want. Let's say I want to do side and then I can come in here with my manipulate bones tool and I can manipulate my bones and I can adjust the character. Also, if you go up to window, actions, you can see here you have your actions in the actions panel that I was showing you in the character wizard window. So you can initiate those actions if you wish. And if you're not sure how to use actions, I do have a tutorial on that. So you can check that out and get in-depth knowledge of that. But that is how you would access those actions from the character wizard. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson on the character wizard. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so be sure to check those out, and I'll see you next time.